this is what you're in for, okay? I was made a Game of Thrones ambassador by HB Frickin' O. Hi my internet family and welcome back for another monthly favourites video. I'm starting this again because I just, I started filming five minutes ago and I kept saying April, but it was May. It's now June. The year is just like, blah, blah, blah. this year ain't got no time for us. It's just like running away. But um, yeah, I'm trying to get comfortable and uh, if the light keeps changing, I'm so sorry. I went to the hairdressers yesterday, which you'll have seen um, if you follow my Instagram stories. I post there all the time. I took advice from a lot of my Twitter followers for this hair. Um, so I have had kind of quite dull, flat, all over auburn hair for quite a long time and sometimes my bangs grow out and I just brush them and style them different ways when they're getting it in my eyes but like I love when they're like this um, and for the colour I really wanted something more summery but also I didn't want blonde in my hair again. Actually I went in wanting rose gold because I've been all over that. I, every time I see someone posting pictures on Instagram with rose gold hair and copper I'm like oh my god. And I've loved the like gingers because of Emma Stone from La La Land and stuff. I've had like Gin well, Game of Thrones ladies as well. Like I've just had ginger in my head for a long time. Uh, but the last time I tried to go red, it went wrong. So I thought, what's a subtle way to do it? And of course, I went to Zeba, which is my hairdresser's Kieran in Zeba in Dublin, and I asked for copper balayage, and he did this, and I love it so much. I'm really, really happy with it. Um, and the style is just like you know, above the shoulders, short one length all the way around and then the fringe ha is like longer out to the sides kind of like the way Zoe Deschanel's fringe is. With my colour he did say like it's going to depend on how much it lightens up because I'd been using boxes of auburn hair dye and um, I didn't know what to expect at all. I was like sitting there shitting myself really nervous in case it didn't lift or anything Um, but what he ended up using was a kind of um a peach and a kind of coppery blonde all over in these like balayage pieces. Um, he's such a good hairstylist but um, yeah I wouldn't recommend doing this yourself but I know this is going to last me a long time because my natural hair will grow out and it'll just grow with it. Um, but let me know if you want a video about hair styling, hair products because I used to do those kind of videos way more often than I do now and uh, like I, I get questions the odd time about it but I don't know if like the bulk of the people that watch these favourites videos are also into like the beauty videos. Maybe you are because um, I do show beauty products in these videos. I should really start, shouldn't I? Totally rambling. I need a, another bit of tea. How cute is this mug? It says beautiful and it's the little uh, kitty from Aristocats. For you guys this month I have products like I've got loads of skincare and makeup and then I've got a couple of books. We will start with my favourite makeup product and we will say a brief farewell a uh, fond farewell to my poor, poor extra dimension skin finish beaming blush from MAC which I shared in a recent favourites video and like look what happened to it on the plane. It just all destroyed and got smashed up and this is my favourite thing. This is what makes my skin look really nice out of like all the makeup I use. This is what I put on my cheeks and there and here and here and like it just makes my face look nice and it's dead. Um, It's like a rosy gold kind of blush highlight thing and uh, I need another one. I'm very sad about that so say farewell. Good times, good times. Um, But my favourite, so okay in terms of like lipstick right, I uh, showed you guys loads of different matte lippies over the past year or two. I was mad into matte lips and stuff and had a bad experience recently so I've completely gone off matte lips. Um, I kissed a girl on a night out and her all of her lipstick had like dried up her lips so much that it was just like a little butt, a little butthole and I, I really was just like I'm not wearing that. I would never want anyone to have that experience with me. Um, So I'm gone really into like scrubbing my lips and like using glosses and stuff. So this one, I'll get there eventually. I'm very like rambly, am I? Like, Max um, Telegenius uh, lip gloss. So this was a sample I got sent out ages and ages ago and I never really used it and uh, I just, oh it smells like um, like a bakery or something. I just like to um, pop it over whatever lip product I have on and I've been going just for sheer lipsticks and stuff um, but I've had that on almost every day 
over the past month so I thought it needed a little slot in my favies. Now we're on to the skincare stuff so I have a lot of things here. This first thing is a repurchase and I've had it in loads of my old videos but a lot I know a lot of you guys didn't follow me like three years ago or whatever so I'm mentioning it again. Um, I got a few of the Glam Glow masks. I bought them myself. I know they're quite pricey, um, but I bought a few of them to see if I liked any of the other colours. Uh, I tried out one on Instagram stories and it was like a one that you peel off, like you put it on your face and it's supposed to change colour and it didn't. And um, yeah, I tried all the other ones, but this is still my firm favourite from Glam Glow. And I really forgot how, like why I used to wear this all the time. Um, until I like I got it and I was like yes um this is their thirsty mud hydrating treatment and I think you're supposed to wear this as a mask and you can say use a little bit and wear it on your face overnight which is what I do so I don't put on loads of this and wear it like a face mask I will get a little bit and massage it into my face before I go to sleep and I wake up and I just look like so 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 like my skin is always just on point when I wear this in terms of being soft and like gets rid of all of the flakes and all that kind of thing. This has hyaluronic acid in it and it smells like coconut. Um, It's that kind of a, uh, I'd say like a Greek yogurty texture, Um, but it smells so, so lovely. If you don't like coconut, you're not gonna like the smell of this. Definitely worth the money. The last one of these that I had lasted me months. I got rid of all of like the spots that I've been getting. Like anytime I get pimples, I use the routine, which I shared a few months ago. I'll link it down below. It's a skincare for spots kind of routine, but my skin is doing really well right now. So I obviously had to tweak my skincare to match my current skin um, and Right now I'm all about like moisture and kind of having that fresh and youthful look because I don't want to look like a 27 year old dried up prune um, and I really really like these. I was sent out a huge bag of stuff from Bare Minerals um, which like I, I guess sent a lot of skincare makeup guys and most of it I don't try and I give away or donate um but oftentimes like stuff will catch my eye and I'm like oh my god I wasn't expecting to love this I thought maybe you know I know the bare minerals makeup it's nice it's does the job never heard anything about their skincare but like I'm obsessed <laughs> this this is actually called Oil Obsessed Total Cleansing Oil and this is one of those skincare oils that I kid you not just gets everything off really quick like you pump this into your hand and you like massage it into your face with a little bit of water and it melts away everything so fast it smells gorgeous like it's a really enjoyable oil to use I've used quite a good bit of this so far it says it's a delicate blend of bilberry barrage cucumber and sunflower oils plus mineral rich sea salts and my skin likes this a lot. Um, also these two things. This one um, is the, has a hair on it. <laughs> uh, skin Longevity Vital Power Infusion. There's a lot of silly buzzwords on it, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but it just says on the back, after cleansing your skin, you apply two pumps all over your face and neck. Um, and I looked up about this, but like I, I think why I like it so much is because like when you pump it into your hand, it kind of feels like it turns into water and I know a lot of brands are bringing out products like this lately that you put on under your makeup and stuff so like Urban Decay have this kind of prime skin primer that turns into water on your hands and you like pat it into your face like an emulsion almost emulsion I meant to say infusion because that's what this is it's an infusion but the packaging is gorgeous and I just love how it makes my face feel before I go at it with makeup or if I just don't want to wear any makeup same with the eye version so this is the skin longevity vital power eye gel cream and apparently they have some herb in them some like uh, long life herb powered by long life herb. I never believe any of this crazy claims made on packages All I know is that like if a product suits my skin or it doesn't and I just I love these together with the oil My skin just is so soft and hydrated and nourished um, and I love it and then also from Bare Minerals, this is great if you're going on holiday or if you live somewhere where it's quite warm um, and you don't want to wear like a big full face of makeup. It's the Prime Time BB Primer Daily Defense and it has SPF of 30 in it. But this is the fair one and it's just a lovely like very light veil of coverage. Um, cover and my voice went so weird there. Uh, but yeah, just make sure you wear your SPF guys because like 
oh, it's just so important and like everyone forgets to do it. Um, but that's so handy and tiny and you can stick it in your little bag. And uh, then finally on skincare front, I have the Hand and Body Lotion Dream Cream from Lush. The new packaging on these is so pretty. They've added all these little flowers that are adorable. This is not a repurchase, I was sent it because Lush just loved me because I love Lush. Um, but I have bought about 12 of these over the past three or four years. This is one of those moisturizers that um, does smell a little bit like a hospital. I think I've said that before. Um, but I hadn't, ha I didn't have this for like two months or something. And I noticed the difference every time I stopped using it. I noticed the difference. This has inside it that is so good for your skin. Um, like your body, like my legs and stuff are like way more soft when I'm using this. Um, it has oats and it has organic extra virgin olive oil. And the oats are steeped in hot water to produce a rich oat milk that cools and relieves. And it has, um, what's it called, rose water in it too. But it's just such a gorgeous body moisturiser. Very basic, yeah, I'll admit. But it does a great job and it's really natural. These two books couldn't be more different. Um... Both will probably appeal to different groups of you, or maybe you'll all just love them, because I feel like a lot of us are very similar, aren't we? I really do feel like my viewers are all just me, like we're all the same person, <laughs> um, most of us. But like, so this one is by Caroline Foran, it's called Owning It, Your Bullshit Free Guide to Living with Anxiety, and I am recommending this, like, with every every atom of my being wants any of you guys who suffer, struggle with ongoing anxiety, bouts of it, or if you have anxiety disorder, I swear to goodness, like I read this in a day. I was sent this out by my publishers. Um, My book, as you guys know, is coming out on August 24th. Actually, no, I haven't said that in a video. My book is coming out on in August now, not in September, so it was brought forward. Anyway, the publisher sent this because I did touch on a little bit on anxiety in my book, but um, they thought that I would like this, and goodness, it's helpful, and it's laid out in such an easily accessible way. Um, so yeah, if you or anyone you know is suffering from anxiety, definitely worth a read, and uh, on to the love of my life. This is the illustrated edition of George R. R. Martin's Game of Thrones. Um, so it is a book one in A Song of Ice and Fire and I will show you some of the illustrations right now. Oh my god guys. Granted I'm currently only on page 106 um, because I don't get that much free time to read this kind of stuff anymore but I'm gonna be making my way through it. A lot of you will already be aware of the depth of my love for Game of Thrones. When I started my YouTube channel I had a bunch of cats and kittens and stuff called after the characters and I have mentioned Game of Thrones so many times throughout the years and on my social media constantly. There is a reason why I'm rereading this and re-watching all of the series because the next season is coming out in a few months and I was made a Game of Thrones ambassador by HBO. Oh and it's so like I'm I'm loving it. I, so I got to do my first thing which you will find out about recently. Um, we will be doing a bunch of different cool uh, things to do with Game of Thrones that I will hopefully be turning into content or like even just sharing on Instagram stories, like whatever. But you'll be seeing and coming along with me and experiencing it as well. And like for me as a super fan of the show, it is a dream come true. Like just I can't I can't ex I can't verbalize it. Game of Thrones and everything it's about. So like the fact that all of the characters they're not good or bad. They're just like it. It's a, I can't speak. It just explores like the humanity and like the 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 relationships, the family bonds, the what drives people, what motivates them to do certain things. Like I I'm fascinated by psychology and um like the Game of Thrones soundtrack the 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 magic the pacing everything about it i love so um yeah my last month and this month are all like game of thrones game of, game of thrones game of fucking thrones game of fucking thrones game of fucking thrones game of fucking thrones and my last favorite um which i actually forgot to put in last month's favorites but i'm sticking it in here cuz <laughs> you can't stop me i can i can do what i want lana del rey and the weekend lust for life that song Oh my god. Like, I I probably will get a tattoo with Lust for Life on my body somewhere. Like, I love that song. And I know 
not many people think it's like a, an amazing, like groundbreaking, incredible song or whatever. I think it's the lyrics just really hit me. I don't know, remember last month I was all annoyed about that show 13 Reasons Why. I was reading up a lot about the high rates of teen suicide right now. Um, and the lyrics of that song just kind of like washed it all away and, and it made me uh, so there you have it. There, them's my favourites. I might just throw this in at the end while it's here. It's not supposed to be in the video, but there you go. This is what I'm wearing. It's the DKNY Women's Perfume. And uh, just because it reminds me of being a teenager. Oh my god. It's kind of grassy, but in a really nice way. Like, it's a very fresh citrus smell. Um... I need to stop. I need to end this video. I'm a mess today, guys. I'm sorry. This is what my period does to me. Um, but yeah, let me know if um, you like any of these things too. And leave video requests, all the usual, down in the comments. I'm going to be reading through all of them. And uh, thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you again in another video. Till then.